So that's obviously, Paddy, you would say, is the lowest setting that was burning way too. Mm -hmm. So it's as low as that one goes. I'll switch this off just now. I need to check the pressure on it as well, okay? Oh, there you go. You've got it. Ah. Well, unless that's the wind, but... Oh, when I close the door just yeah, now. Yeah. Just close this one. If not want to see if you make it too low. Yeah, I don't want it to blow out. That's what I'm saying, but it's not just that. It's got a thermocouple on it. Okay. So, that's a flame sort of vision device. Yes. So, again, if you make it too low, then it might can not be as effective when you're going to simmer setting. So that's probably about there. Yeah. Which is right, right? When you put a normal uh, kind of hob, uh -huh. On the lowest setting, it's just a little gentle ring hey, for, see the, for see the, a simmer. See, see the, the modern cookers, they're a little bit more fierce than before. Yes. Uh, just because, see, see these time sort of vision devices here? Yeah. Before 2008, they didn't have to have them on the hobs. So a lot of people have the very cooker for years. Yeah. And they get the new one. It has got a flame sort of vision device on it. It works by, when the flame comes in contact with here, it creates a small voltage of flame. Yes. The gas valve is an electromagnet, so it actually takes over holding the gas valve open and allows the gas to flow through. Okay. Used to be you can put the similar foot on the older cooter, right down just about zero. On yes. these ones, you want to leave it up a little bit, again, just in order for it to, to stay lit. Okay. But we'll just go through these all. Brilliant. Thank you, Paddy. You know, so, so just out of interest, I mean, Laura and I have, have you know, moved into a brand new build property, expect things to be working absolutely correctly. Mm -hmm. Are there instructions in terms of LPG conversion that says you you need to take off these? There is, but it doesn't come with the standard instructions for the cooker. So see when you buy the, the, the LPG conversion kit sold separate. Yes. So when you buy the LPG conversion kit, yep. the instructions are in that. It's not in your standard instructions. Okay. But when you buy the kit, the kit will come through with the injectors. Yeah. <coughs> they usually, obviously, they don't do much insulation. We only do the pair on it. Yeah. But the kit usually comes with the, the, a picture of the, the layout of the hob top. Yes. And they'll have the injector in each place, can depend on which yeah. thing it's getting put in. Yeah. Because the, the injectors have got specific sizes on them. Yes. So obviously, if you put the one for here and the small one, it's uh, just going to. Hey, so what I'm saying is that the, but, when but, they buy that kit, then they get instructions on how to do this. But does it, and so those instructions mm -hmm. should include the instructions then and the guidance to do exactly what you're doing just now. Exactly. But even see if anybody has done LPG. Yeah. They would know anyway. And yeah, that would be something that they would know because it doesn't matter whether it's a a, a cooker, a boiler, yeah, a, a gas fire, yeah. You've got. To, Convert it. You've got to change. You've got to tell the the machine that it's going to a system that's a higher pressure. Yes. And the only way to do that is by adjusting it. Yeah. On a gas boiler, sometimes you've got to tell the press circuit board. Can you put a jumper lead on? Yeah, yeah. And you've got to tell it. Yeah. So, so would it be reasonable, Paddy, to say that as Laura and I moved in, we would have expected that to have been set correctly? Of course. Yeah. I mean, see the person that walked away from that. Person has walked away from it. He's not done it properly. He's only done a half job. Right. Okay. So I mean that's okay with that one, isn't it? Yeah, perfect. Yeah. Again, as long as it's not incinerating on the lowest setting, that would be uh, ideal. I mean, see, I mean, I had one of these in. The, you've paid for me to come here today. Well, we haven't had a choice. The developer right. hasn't left us with a choice. Hey, well, what I'm saying is, I had one of these in Fife last week, and I went in, and the boy says there's. Uh, the flames are too high, uh, and uh, a couple of other things. And I went in and I said, there's no way you can do that. I said, who installed it? He says, me. He says, well, he <laughs> honestly said that. I just put, took, picked up the tool bag and walked back out because, I mean, the manufacturers only make so much profit on a yeah. cooker. Yeah. So if, uh, if we were getting called out for something that has nothing to do with the actual cooker itself, Yes. And they're losing money straight away. Yeah, agreed, agreed. So, I mean, for us, for your part, you've got to go back to the developer and get this money back. And you've got to go there. I mean, see, for me, I've got to fill in the tablet. Yeah. 
and tell them what we've said and done. Yes. <clears throat> now that report goes to our office as soon as I close the job down. Yeah. Now they've got a right to that. So you could contact them and get a copy at the show the developer. Yes. Okay, but, uh, Perfect. Okay. They're just, they're that, that, would be, that would be welcome and appreciated. For us. Can, and they'll, they'll email you a copy of that or whatever. Eh? Can, if you need it. All right, perfect. Uh, but really, your developer, you're paying X amount for the house. And your developer should really be... Well, I would suggest making sure that everything works as it ah. you know, should do. Just as an opinion. Ah. So again, that's, but, but if we turn it down any lower... No, no, it doesn't. Yeah, I, yeah, I agree. Back there, eh? uh, uh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Brilliant. Okay. Perfect. Thank you. Right now, quite obviously, because I wanted, you know, an ongoing record in terms of what has been the issue, mm -hmm. and indeed whose responsibility. I've been recording this, Paddy, and, mm -hmm. and thank you for allowing me to do that. Um, so I'm going to I'm going to end the recording now because I think it's quite clear and you've explained it, right. you know, brilliantly well. Thank you for coming out, mm -hmm. and uh, and then yeah, we can crack on and I can enjoy cooking again. Exactly. So so thank you, Paul. Yeah, well.